and welcome to Wired Outdoors. This week's episode is called Heartbreak 2011. And while the Wired team had a great season, let's just say some things didn't work out quite like we planned, but we got in front of some true giants. In this hunt, if you follow the Wired Outdoors team, you're gonna see a familiar buck you've seen us talking about called Splitter 13. And Andy Traster, field staffer, did a great job scouting this guy out. We planted some Whitetail Institute food plot seed that he was really hitting hard, and we were in high hopes the first day if we got the right wind to get a crack at him. Sure enough, the first day of the Pennsylvania archery season rolled around and Splitter 13 was showing up every single night about 5.30 in one of our Whitetail Institute secret spot food plots. So that's where we'd be at in high hopes of seeing him come in. Opening day of PA bow season and it's a little bit windy, a little bit rainy out, but we got a perfect wind for a little food plot here. Whitetail Institute food plot, secret spot actually. And uh, we got a buck called Splitter 13. He keeps running along 80 here. I think we're at a good spot. I think we'll be, might be able to get an arrow in them tonight. We've got about two hours left till dark. I'm hoping he makes his move anytime now. You know, anybody who's from Pennsylvania or hunted Pennsylvania can appreciate this. And I was sitting there the entire time saying to myself, there is no way that we're going to be able to shoot a buck like this on the first day of the archery season. But sure enough, 5.30 rolls around and look who's on his way. Splitter 13 days right there. made a horrible shot. Shaking so bad. Got nervous. Archery season and uh, I've been scouting this buck thir splitter 13 uh, all summer. Watched them ever since the day after Cambo Cares. I got my first trail cam picture. Been watching them day after day. Had them all week in this little secret spot food plot by Whitetail Institute. And he came out perfect. Had a perfect perfect everything and I put a shot just too high on him. So all I can do is hope and pray right now that we find him. That's all we can do. Well obviously as you can see this was not where we wanted this shot to go. But let's slow down the footage and you can see when this buck was coming in he was really jumpy. It was windy this night and he was real fidgety. And you're gonna see when we slow this footage down how much this buck drops. And actually what was a good shot ended up being a really bad shot. You know, I really felt bad for Andy here and you know, he didn't even want to turn and talk to the camera and I made him turn around and he was literally green. I thought he was going to throw up. And it's an absolute heartbreaker, you know, for a couple reasons. One, you work so hard and you have a buck like that patterned to where you can get on him the first night. And then to put a, an arrow in an animal like that, I know he was just sick. But the good news is, is a week later, we have footage of Splitter 13 in the exact same food plot, daylight hours. You can see from this footage, here he is, and there's the, the wound on his back. So he was fine, and we actually uh, saw him again the first week in November pushing does all over the place. So we're hoping maybe we get a crack at him in late season or definitely another chance at him next year. In this next hunt, you're going to see Kyle and his dad hunting over a clear cut and you're gonna see a familiar buck that we call Split Dixon. We have a lot of footage of this guy preseason, spotlighting footage, some trail camera stuff, and he is a giant Pennsylvania buck. And they're hoping, the rut's kicking in, that maybe they'll get a shot at this guy.
Well, after watching this small buck push some does around, Kyle looks over to his right and look who's on his way, Split Dixon. Well, hey, we, we were just there and we just saw the biggest buck I have ever seen in my life. And I mean, it just, unbelievable. Kyle saw it first, saw it coming. And he says, right, there's a deer coming. And we looked up there and the horns just started coming out of the woods. I mean, ahead of it. This thing, this thing is amazing. It's like, oh, and of course it's a deer that he's seen before, so it's like, this thing is huge and it's uh, super white horns, everything just as nice as could be. And it walked within 50 yards. I mean, it's right here looking at us. Of course, it got a whiff of us and then it turned around and uh, headed away. But, uh, oh man, <laughs> what, what an experience. It's like, that is by far the biggest white tail I've ever seen <laughs> on the hoof. And it's like, wow. What a monster. In this next hunt, you're gonna see another big Pennsylvania buck, and Kyle's gonna be filming field staffer AJ Johnson. It's the last week of the archery season, and the rut is on. Good morning. It's November 9th, and uh, we're hunting here in Western Pennsylvania. We're on a morning hunt. Um, we actually have the field staff crew in for the last four days of the season, so we're gonna see, see what we can get down. We're kind of pairing up, taking turns hunting and videoing each other, so. This morning we're in a place here that uh, we're actually along a, an edge of a pine thicket. So uh, it's kind of cold this morning. It's about 38, 39 degrees, but the next two, two days, three days are going to get good. So that's what we're waiting for. There's a little bit of chasing going on, and uh, we're going we're gonna to sit here and see what happens today. Like I said, it's November 9th and it's getting good. 
Thanks for joining us on this episode of Wired Outdoors. You know, it was called Heartbreak 2011, but success is measured differently by everybody. And I felt this year was a tremendous success for us. We said we weren't gonna shoot the first legal buck. We were gonna chase some of these big boys. And you know what? They get big for a reason. So we ended up eating some tag sandwiches, but the good news is these guys are gonna be around for next season. Cry one more time for you. Everything's gone